boys and girls, Colin here again. Does anyone know who that is? It's not me with the straw hat. He's an artist and his name is Vincent Van Gogh. And today we're going to talk about him and learn a little bit about his artwork. Before that though, we're going to sing the favourite song, Stop and Let Me Tell You. Stop and Let Me Tell You. and learn about Vincent van Gogh, the famous painter. Good night boys and girls, you might think, is Colin a painter, an artist? No, I'm not. Joanna's an artist, she's a painter. I'm in her studio today. But we're actually talking about a famous painter called Vincent van Gogh. And he's a, a Dutch painter. And I don't know, if you know anything about art or famous painters, he's one of the most renowned and famous painters in all of the world. In the late 1800s, he, he was a painter living in Holland. But something about his life, his paintings, for example, his paintings are worth millions of dollars or millions of pounds. One of them in 1990 was sold for $83 million. Today, that's worth about $180 million pounds million pounds just for a painting but an interesting fact about his life when he was alive he painted over 2,000 paintings sketches and and paintings oil paintings different types of art but he never sold one painting while he was alive nobody really even knew who he was he was just a normal person and his art's very interesting interesting joanna has big thick books and some books that's him there vincent van gogh a self-portrait that he painted. But I want to just show you some pictures about his painting. For example, this one here is called The Sower. And I thought, for me as a Christian, whenever I read about Van Gogh's life, he was born in Holland. He's a, he's a Dutchman. His father was a minister, a Christian minister. He taught the Bible. Vincent also learned about God. He also became a Christian. And for a few years, many, many months, he lived as a missionary. He taught people the Bible. He learned the Bible and he loved doing God's work. But he stopped doing that and he started to paint and the rest of his life. He only he didn't live a very old life. He died in his middle years. And whenever I look at some of his artwork, he loved to do self-portraits of people, of himself and also nature. And what are what fascinates me and many people about his work are the colours. He was the type of art he done was it he was an expressive artist. He would use his, his colours to express what he's doing. Here's his boots, for example. And this often creates discussion about his boots, how well they're worn, the laces, the soles of them. And often you can tell a person by their feet where they walk, what they do, how they work. A farmer's got dealer boots or welly boots. A businessman's got shiny shoes. A lady going out for the evening might have high heels on. But that's his working boots. That's what he wore every day. He often walked for hours and hours and lived in different places all around the country. So your feet's important. This is his. And often whenever you look at his face, his ginger hair, his ginger beard, his short hair, his rough skin. He, was, he often suffered from depression he was often lonely he was a very sad person he never really had many friends he had one brother called Theo and Theo was the one who would help finance him help buy his, his paintings his brushes his canvases anything that he wanted so that he could paint maybe his brother saw something in him and whatever you think of Van Gogh at that time if he died nobody knew anything about him nobody even knew about his art but it's only after he died did he actually become famous right across the world today. 
some of his paintings he often painted like birds and at that time people would have driven horse and carts and he painted everyday themes that was going on all around him. This is his bedroom, a very simple bedroom. You can see this here, a little bed, a desk and his easel and his artwork. And sometimes by looking at someone's bedroom, you can see how they lived. It was very, a very simple life. It wasn't a, compl a complicated life, but that was Van Gogh. At that time, I often tried to, if you go to an exhibition, Joanne and I went to an exhibition recently in Belfast, and it was Van Gogh's art put into modern day technology digitally. And you can see a lot of this, for example, I showed his bedroom, how he would have imagined how he lived here, how he slept, how he set, all of these things. And he often painted fields, and it was often a rolling theme about harvest, about working, and I thought that's very good, it's very inspiring, because even within his mind, he obviously, if he painted 2,000 paintings, Tooth, over 2,000 paintings, he worked day and night and spent many, many hours painting and he just poured his heart and soul into it. One of the most famous paintings of all is called The Star, the Stars, Starry Night. And you can see the stars. People have paid millions of pounds for that one painting alone. Very, very famous. I love the colours, the golden, the blues, the greens, and that's the farmer working away preparing the crops. And for me as a Christian, even I would imagine in his mind at that time, as he was painting, he was talking about the fields are white unto harvest and challenging people to go into God's field and to serve God because time really is short for people to live for and to serve God. He loved to paint trees. And at that time, he painted the people resting after the harvest was over. They'd finished doing their day's work and they'd finished and that was them finished for the day. Blossom. He painted different themes uh, springtime, summertime, autumn time, winter time, and you can see the flowers are starting to bloom, they're starting to blossom, life is coming to the tree, and you can just imagine uh, people preparing for, looking forward to summer, children developing into boyhood, girlhood, teenage life, and through all of this here, it's so inspiring, just by putting ca a paintbrush to canvas and developing and portraying so much can be learned about his life. This here painting is called the Arises, and again another famous plant, another famous flower that he loved to paint. And finally here we have a little cottage. At that time that's how people lived. Whether people live in a flat, an apartment, a farmhouse, an estate, a high-rise building or not, it doesn't matter. It's their home, it's where they are. And Van Gogh, he just lived very simply. He lived in Belgium, he lived in Holland, different parts of Europe, and he painted, but he's, he's Whenever he was gone, he was not noticed, not recognised. It was only after his death. It's like the Lord Jesus Christ on earth. Whenever he was in this earth, many people didn't recognise him, didn't want him. In fact, whenever he died, they said, away with him, crucify him. Whenever he died and was buried and rose again, that's when the Christian calendar started. That's why we look back to that moment. And today, 2023 years later, we say, Jesus Christ is Lord, the same yesterday, today and forever. I am the Lord, he says, I change not. Just a little lesson about Van Gogh, the artist. And if you have a gift or talent to sing, to play sport or music, or to be a painter, to be an artist, you should apply yourself. And it's like what we do. Sometimes in life, you might never be acknowledged or recognized for what you do. That's why everything I do, I do it to please God with. And we're not here to please men, to please people. We're here in life to please God. Because life, in many ways, can disappoint you. But with God, there's never any disappointment. Just a normal person. He poured his heart and his soul using paintbrushes, paint on the canvas. And he'd be, today, he would probably be the wealthiest man to live in this earth if only he were alive today to see it. But he never saw any of that. He knows anything about it. But his brother, who was called Theo, he was the one who noticed him and helped him along life's way. And we should be like Vincent van Gogh's brother, Theo, unrecognized, unnoticed, behind the scenes, helping his brother along the way. And there's a lesson. When you see somebody in need, somebody needs help, go alongside them, find out what they need and help them as best you can. Lovely lesson today from Vincent van Gogh, one of the most famous artists in all of the world. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.
Really enjoyed that story. It was Joanna actually had told me and inspired me about talking about it. Um, it's lovely colours, the blues, the yellows, and a very sad story. Somebody painted so much, yet he never, wasn't able to see at all develop because he, after his death, he became famous then. So we're going to sing Light of the World. Three is painting because you can see a lot of light as well. Light of the World. story. That's all for today and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.